हेलो एवरीवन नमस्कार सो लेट सॉल्व वन मोर क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम फूरियर ट्रांसफॉर्म सो वी हैव टू फाइंड द फूरियर साइन एंड कोसाइन ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ एफ एक्स इक्वल्स टू ई पावर माइनस एक्स सो लेट्स फर्स्ट फाइंड द फूरियर साइन ट्रांसफॉर्म सो फूरियर साइन ट्रांसफॉर्म इज रिटर्न एज Fourier sine transform. Okay, so Fourier sine transform of f of x which will come out to be a function of s is given by integral zero to infinity. एफ एक्स मल्टीप्लाइड बाय बिकॉज वी आर फाइंडिंग द पूरियस साइन ट्रांसफॉर्म सो साइन एस सिक्स डी एक्स सो लेट्स फाइंड दिस सो दिस विल बी इक्वल टू Now, what is our f x here? It is e power minus x, so zero to infinity e power minus x sine s x So we know one formula that integration of e power a x. साइन बी एक्स इज गिवेन बाय ई पावर ए एक्स डिवाइडेड बाय ए स्क्वायर प्लस बी स्क्वायर ए साइन बी एक्स because sin is an odd function so just for remembering formula we write minus sin here the remaining was b and cos was also remaining so cos b let's use the same formula here so e power minus x in current question your a is minus 1 and your b is s so minus 1 square that is 1 and uh, b square inside i have a which is minus sin bx so sin sx minus b so minus s cos sx and it moves from 0 to infinity so when you will put infinity it will be e power minus infinity that is 1 upon e power infinity 1 upon very big quantity it is 0 so because this multiplier is 0 so everything as will be 0 in the upper limit now coming to the lower limit so when we will put 0 here e power 0 is 1 So one upon one plus s square, and uh, let's see what are the other terms. We are sure that the upper limit is zero. Let's come to the lower limit. So lower limit will obviously start with a minus sign, and one upon one plus s square inside. Now sign. If you put x as zero, sign zero will be zero. So again, first term is not there. Here, cos zero is one, so minus s u will be generated. So minus minus plus, so you are getting your Fourier sine transform as to be equal to.
एस अपॉन वन प्लस एस स्क्वायर ओके Now let's turn to the Fourier cosine transform. So the Fourier cosine transform of f of x will be obviously again it will be a function of s. So we write like this is again an integral from zero to infinity f of x. and this time we have cos s6 again you know your fx is e power minus x and we again have a formula e power ax cos bx this equals to e power ax divided by a square a square plus b square and you have a cos bx so cos bx okay cos sx is there so i am telling first of all the general formula cos bx plus sin b sin bx Okay. So if you use the same formula here, so we can write this as uh, here again a is your minus one and b is your s. So e power again in the last one, yes we did it correctly. e power minus x divided by minus one square is one plus s square a cos b x cos s six plus b sin s six goes from 0 to infinity now again you will put infinity e power minus infinity that is 0 so upper limit is going to be 0 coming to the lower limit so with a negative sign you are getting your fourier cosine transform negative sign 1 upon 1 plus s square and inside cos 0 is 1 so minus 1 from there and sin 0 is going to be 0 so minus 1 is what you are getting from there so into minus 1 so this is nothing but 1 upon 1 plus s square so this is what you got as your fourier cosine transform 1 upon 1 plus s square and the fourier sine transform you got as s upon 1 plus s square okay so this was it uh, we need to find the fourier sine and cosine transform of e fx equals to e power minus x fourier sine transform is 0 to infinity fx sin sx fourier cosine transform is 0 to infinity fx cos sx 
that's it i hope you understood this do watch our playlist on fourier transform and subscribe to the channel for more such videos thanks and have a nice day